Uh, we're here to assist the Army of Afghanistan and the people of Afghanistan in transitioning to a de democratic form of government and supporting them uh, like we have been for the last 11 years in uh, establishing themselves as a peaceful democratic people. And we've seen improvements since I was here. I was here in 2003. Seen a lot of improvements, um, a lot more government involvement than the military's coming along. Uh, it's still has a way to go, but uh, they're making good progress, and uh, I think in the future we'll continue to see that progress accelerate. So we'll watch our fires there, but uh, you might get hit up here somewhere along this ridge. He always gets a vote. Uh, that's something we usually say. Uh, here in Logman, the enemy's activities are pretty limited to uh, small teams of insurgents that conduct harassing attacks and, of course, IEDs, uh, improvised explosive devices. They represent the greatest threat to our soldiers. Uh, they're quite large, 60, 80 plus, even 100 pounds of explosives usually buried under the road. So that's by far the biggest threat that uh, our soldiers face out there every day. Just make sure they don't sneak up on you. Again, the rear, right? Cover the rear. I think the rear is probably, for you guys, is really key because they may come up from Shinzele here like this, you try to come up and get, get on top of you to engage you from, you know, that's what they've done in the past. Yeah, I think prior to 9-11, the National Guard was really seen as more of a strategic reserve. We would go to Europe in the event of uh, World War III and it would take us 30, 60, 90 days to get there and uh, we would be over there as a reserve force. And really you've seen the National Guard transition to a, a premier piece of the fighting force. Uh, I'd, I'd like to think, and I'm fairly sure this is accurate, that the regular Army couldn't do what it does today without the National Guard. Um, we bring a lot to the table. We have a diversity of soldiers with specialties that play very well into the counterinsurgency type of fight we find ourselves in. I want you to try to build your positions to standard as close as you can, because the next operation, we really are going to be digging them in, including overhead cover. Yeah.